Well, hey there, everybody. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. If you're a longtime supporter, I really, really appreciate it. Before we get into the video, I want to preface this. is This is just me having some fun. So please don't think I am, you know, going after a manufacturer or a brand or anything like that you know this was all just for fun and it was kind of a poke at myself for something that i had said before so with that out of the way you know don't hit me with hate in the comments this is all just for fun so with that said let's get into the video all right so before we get started a while back i did a video of uh, called blockhead or bonehead or bonehead or blockhead i don't remember but we were talking about the hotshot too and you know i wasn't very impressed with tamia's effort or the look of the car and some of the things they did with it um and i kind of gave it a lot of crap and i still am not in love with it in that video i said i wasn't going to get one So, you know, I lied. My bad. The issues I had with the kit, if you haven't seen that video, um, if you want to go back and look at that video before we get too deep into this, um, I'll put a link up here. But there's a few things I didn't like about the buggy. The first thing being is when this first came out, there was images shown of June Watanabe's Blockhead Edition um, Hotshot 2. It had his flair on it, I felt. Um... And then when Tamiya released the images of this and I got to learn more about it, I was kind of upset. You know, this is identical to the Wild One livery. You know, big yellow, big blue, big white. You know, it's kind of, it's been done before. Um, you know, the yellow, blue, white thing. And I hope they don't continue on with every one comes out yellow and blue and white. You know, have some variety. Each one of the cars was originally designed to be unique and look unique. So, you know, do the blockhead versions with the, I guess, main theme in, in, in mind. But, you know, change out the coloring a little bit. You know, do a little bit of, of fancy. Change it up. Don't do the same thing every time. Anyway, I've already ranted. That video was up here. <clears throat> anyway, let's get into what I didn't like. One, I didn't like these big, goofy number plates. Um, you know, in a real race car, you would never have ginormous bolt-on number plates and that was the second thing i didn't like about these number plates is they show the screws bolting them on it looked like an afterthought like oh crap we forgot to put the the number plates on what are we gonna do i don't know screw them on um you know we've already complained about the livery and everything it's just too <laughs> blue and yellow and white um the other thing i didn't like was hot shot is known by his signature low slanted forward roof and they changed it to make it look more scale. Nobody bought the Hot Shot because it was a scale looking buggy. Everybody bought the Hot Shot because it was this low, sleek, aggressive, angry looking little buggy. Um, I don't know. You guys were releasing the BBX that is a really nice looking scale buggy, but you brought this out. And <clears throat> again, I've ranted enough. So in the spirit of me mocking myself of not saying I was not going to get a hot shot. Um, I present to you the Bonehead Motors uh, Hot Shot 2 Edition. So I had to change it up. I had to, you know, put my own flair on it and everything. And I'll get some up-close pictures so you guys can see it a little bit closer. And it's not perfect. There was a lot of, let's just say, um, fudging it <laughs> with uh, a lot of what's on here. So... One thing you'll notice is the yellow shocks are gone. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that the um, changing yellow shocks to a different color, you know, doesn't work out well. I was going for red. I got kind of a, a rust brownish burgundy color. They're reddish, reddish. So if you guys have never dyed plastic, you basically just put rip fabric dye get it in hot water, get it almost to a boil, and then put your parts in, let them set. Um, you know, you may have to do it for 
20 seconds. You may have to do it for 10 minutes. You may have to do it for 20 minutes. It just depends on the color you're going for and the plastics you're working with. I can't give you a science on it, but you know, it just soaks up in there and turns same colors. Unfortunately, it turned it kind of a, um, a duty brown kind of color, but it kind of goes with the theme. <laughs> um, so my daughter helped me out tremendously and helped me change the blockhead logo to the bonehead logo. And this is not the Hot Shot 2. This is the Not Shot 2. So we have the Not Shot sticker on the back. We have the Not Shot sticker up here. We've got more boneheads here. And then the other cool thing she did is because I ranted so much and still kind of continuing to, um, instead of up, Upset Irwin or whatever the hell the name is on the stickers, um, she changed that to Upset Adam. So the wing sides now say Upset Adam. Now, the reason the wing sides are white and the big bonehead motors thing is white up here. I don't have clear um, decal sheets to print on. All I have is white. So it was really, 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 really hard to cut out all the white off of the stickers. Um, you know, I did this one, I did this one, and kind of the skulls um, as well to get them trimmed, but there was no way I was gonna get this one perfect and stuff. So we just kind of, we just made things work. So one of the other things I did, a little carbon fiber up here just to break up the hood. And then there's a lot of other decals on here that are not in the kit. So the Budweiser, the Free Flow, the CVA, the STP, um, the Hearst, Super Gripper, uh, Hypercam Engineering. You know, a lot of the decals that come with almost all the cars didn't come with this because they have all the blockhead stuff. Um, so... I have a big decal sheet from MCI. It's, um, I think if you just look for um, sponsors, they have a whole decal sheet that has the Tamiya uh, sponsors things on there. So I just picked and choose and figured out uh, what to put on here. So unfortunately it rained for the last day and a half or so. So everything out there is soaking wet. I'm not gonna take the buggy out there and get it trashed. Um, I still, if you noticed, I just still don't have the driver figure in here. I'm, I have another body set coming for this. So I'm probably gonna change all of this look. Um, so I'm probably going to end up getting black CVAs, um, painting the body black, getting some MCI decals for the Hotshot 2, and kind of putting my own spin of the Hotshot 2 on it. Um, so I didn't want to paint the driver figure yet. So right now it's driverless, but it's sent, they did make that easy. You can just basically slide it in and screw it right down. Um, so the driver figure will go in later. Um, but the couple things that I did differently, obviously the shocks are different. Um, I did put a sport tune motor in here. I'm actually going to take the blockheads motor, um, that came with this and put that in my blockheads wild one. So that one's going to stay a blockheads motor. This one is going to stay bonehead, um, slash, you know, the hotshot too. I don't know. It, it may actually just stay the bonehead cause I kind of like it now. Um, I think the red, uh, the extra decals in here with the red and everything really kind of help it and taking those bright yellow shocks off and just doing something with them and not having big yellow shocks glaring at you um, helped out a lot too. So <clears throat> overall, I'm not upset with it anymore. Sure, I can sit here and bitch about it all day, but overall it is actually a pretty good looking buggy. So what I'm going to do is since we can't get it out and run it, I'm going to end up the video with just kind of a quick build montage. So I've got some pictures of, you know, what how it comes in the box, it all laid out on the bench, steps while we were building it. Now I did miss some of those just because I got kind of involved in building it. So not everything is in there, but you know, kind of the build up to the chassis. And then, you know, once I got the decals going, I kind of completely forgot about taking pictures but we'll get some pictures of it outside um again it'll probably not have the driver figure in it so it'll just be the bear buggy um you know it is what it is but i'll get some up close pictures so you guys can see the differences um you know it's it's just little subtle things like i didn't like the turtles you know and turtles are cute but i've already got a car with some turtles on it so i changed up the logo to the skull and if you guys if you're the owner of this artwork good job i love it um i borrowed it from the internet and uh, just kind of printed it out and made my own. Um, but covered up the turtle up there and took the turtles off of the bonehead down here and put the little pirate guy there. So overall, you know, I'm just having fun with it. It's a little bit of, you know, a, a mild middle finger to Tamiya and what I felt was their laziness of um, their design. Again, it's not a bash on blockhead. June wants Naughty and Blockhead Motors, you know, he is 
created a crazy thing over there. He has some really, really awesome builds and I respect him for his creativity and the way he modifies things. Um, I just felt like Tamiya um, lazied it up and kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I don't think he had anything to do with it, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, one thing I do want to point out, if you guys do get one of these and go to put it together, these little clear, uh, I guess, sponsor boards, um, let me know. Did you guys have a hell of a time putting those on? Because the holes that they were pre-drilled with were, you know, not even remotely close. So essentially what I had to do is I had to mount it with the top holes and there's a screw here and there's a screw here. I had to mount it to the top hole and then remark where the things went. And, you know, I checked it both sides to make sure, you know, okay, well, are they specific left and right? They're not. Um, it's identical stamping. And the other thing is where you screw it on, there's a big screw here that's screwing the cage on um, that, you know, wants to flare out the bottom. So I had to actually cut it around the thing, uh, the screw down here, and then redrill these two small holes to actually get those to mount. That was kind of stupid. I mean, it's all CAD design. You guys, you're engineers over there. You should be able to lay out the same three holes on the cage as the same three holes in the Lexan. You can do it up here. Why not here? Okay, so this was a funny, happy, ranty, angry, you know, this was an emotional event. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everybody takes it with a little bit of, you know, smirk and, you know, haha -ha about it. I hope nobody gets offended and butthurt about it. If you do get offended and butthurt about it, you know, just unsubscribe or something. I don't know. There's nothing that your comment is going to do, so just leave. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not bashing June Montanabe. I'm not bashing Blockhead Motors. Um, I'm kind of sticking it to Tamiya just because, you know, they're the big company and uh, I can go after them. Um, not that my opinion matters in the least, but <clears throat> I'm going to shut up. I've been rambling on enough. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Everybody out there, you guys be happy to be healthy, be safe. Enjoy the montage and the pictures at the end, and I will see you guys on the next one. Hopefully out running.